All right, hey everybody. Um, okay, so it was brought to my attention that Audacity changed something um, and I wanted to do a new video kind of showing you all the steps. So I'm decided to combine everything into one video. This is for people doing ACX audiobook narration and you are using Audacity. So what I'm gonna show you is two different things. One is how to create um, basically something that you can run your file through to make sure that all of the that your audio is within the framework of the numbers and settings that ACX is going to look for. Then there's something called ACX check, which what we can do is basically run it, run the file through that and it'll let us know, hey, it fails. Hey, it passes. Now, that's not 100 percent, but it gives you a starting point. Um, and honestly, I've never had one not get approved. Um, that I've run it through all these and been okay. Uh, so just keep that in mind, this isn't perfect, uh, but this is gonna do most of the work for you. So the first thing we're gonna do is you need to have an audio file in here. So go ahead and open up Audacity. Uh, this is also as of September, 2020. Uh, so I'm gonna show you what Audacity I'm running really quick. Um, and then you can uh, show you how you can check too. So open up Audacity, get a file in here. I literally just went record and started talking and it's recording stuff. Uh, so that is what I am using in here. You're gonna come up here to the top. I'm on a Mac, if you're on a PC, it might be slightly different. Uh, you're gonna come up to Audacity and about Audacity. And then this is gonna open up something letting you know what you're in. We are in 2.4.2. Uh, so if you're in the new Audacity, this is the video for you. If you're running an older version, check out my other videos um, where I kind of show you um, how to set this up, but something changed, so that's why I'm doing this video. Um, all right, so then what we're gonna do is now that you've got a file in here, we're gonna come up here to the top to tools. Uh, in the description, I'm gonna give you the links to these two things, which are what you need um, in order to kind of follow what we're doing. So we're gonna start with this one right here. Uh, and this is just the setting the settings that we're gonna use and run our file through. Um, when we have, when we are done with our audio file, we're gonna run it through this to basically get everything within the settings that ACX needs. So uh, we're gonna come up here to tools and macros. Now you can see I already have one. I'm just gonna remove it and we're gonna create a new one. So you're gonna come to macros, go new. I'm gonna name this ACX, click okay. And then what we're gonna do is add in different things here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add them all and then we'll go edit them all. So I know that some people are here for this new thing. So let's go ahead and find that one first. So basically uh, there was something called equalizer uh, and they changed it back to filter curve. So what we need is insert, this is alphabetical, so just scroll on over till you find what you need. And we're gonna find filter curve and click okay. Now, like I said, we're gonna add them all first and then we'll go edit them. Uh, so the next one, we're gonna go insert uh, and we are going to find compressor. Click okay, uh, then insert. And the next one we are going to find is normalize. Do, do, do. All right, click normalize, click OK. And the one right before that, or the last one, uh, I'm going backwards from what I usually do, uh, is go insert, and we are going to go over to the L's and find limiter, and click OK. So now we have four things here. So let's go ahead and start with the first one that we added, filter curve. Go ahead and click on it, and then click edit. Now. Uh, this used to be equalizer, so if yours was equalizer instead of filter curve, check out that other video. Uh, but what we're gonna do here is go manage factory presets, low roll off for speech. And you'll see a curve appear and you're just gonna click okay. Next, we're gonna go to compressor, click edit, click on it and then click edit. And we're gonna move this negative, this top threshold one to negative 20. Uh, and this is basically for the RMS and uh, basically some of the numbers just, it gets complicated. You can leave the rest the same and then we're just gonna click okay. Then we're gonna come up to normalize, uh, click edit again. Um, I uncheck this remove DC offset. Uh, this middle one you want to be checked and it should already be negative one, 
but if it isn't, make it negative one and click OK. Last one is limiter. Click on that and go edit. Uh, and then this top type, you want to be soft limit. You can leave this at zero, zero. And instead of negative three for the limit two, we're going to make it negative 3.5. And then the hold will still be 10. The makeup gain will be no. And we'll click OK. All right. So now when we're done, we're just going to click OK. And that's going to save it. Now, run this at the end of your audio file. So you've already gone through, you've created your file, you've removed all your ums and all of your clicking from your mouth and uh, the room tone you've added. If you don't know what these things are, check out my other videos. Um, and you've basically, your file is basically ready for you to export um, and be ready to submit almost. So that's where we wanna be right now when we're about to run this. Uh, you wanna have that uh, dead normal or room tone sound at the beginning and at the end. You've kind of gone through all of those types of things. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do now is click on your audio file uh, and then you're gonna click Command A. And that's going to select all your entire file. Now, once it's all selected, you're going to come up to tools and apply macro. Then we're going to find whatever one you made. So I named it ACX and watch how my, um, my file right here is going to change. So I'm going to click ACX and look at that. It changed everything. It made it all match into these numbers. Um, all right. So now that you've done this, what you can do is we're going to create something for the ACX check. So now that we've run it through this, we run it through something else that's like, hey, you everything set up right. You didn't miss a little bit of a file or anything like that. Uh, so in order to do that, we're going to come to this other link, um, this other page with the link is again in the uh, in the description. Uh, so we're going to come to this page, click this downloading and installing plugins, and you're going to get to right here. So we're going to click download, let it download. Uh, and it's got my .ny file right here, .text. Uh, so next, what we're going to do is come back into Audacity. Uh, this thing tells you to do an entire uh, different thing. I found that this worked for me, so they changed things. It used to be easier. It used to be making another macro for this. Uh, now it's different. Uh, so what we're going to do is come back into this file. Uh, we're going to, again, click and then Command A to get everything um, selected. We're going to come up to Tools, and then you should have this NyQuest prompt. So you're going to click that. You might have something here. If you do, no worries. If you don't, cool. Um, if you do, just delete it. We're going to come to load right here, and then we are going to go find that file. So it is right here. Uh, you're just going to click it and click open, and it's going to insert a bunch of things in here. Now, what I did is I went manage save preset, and I named this ACX check and clicked OK. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this and show you what you can do if you've already done this before and this is your, isn't your first time running it. You can go manage uh, user presets and ACX check and it'll load it for you every time. So again, this is the last thing you're gonna do. You're gonna click it, click okay, and it's gonna go, hey, look what happened. You pass, you pass, you fail. Okay, so why did I fail? So then you need to go through and kind of um, problem solve, um, but all of these should say pass um, before you actually finish it. Um, so I hope that helps you guys out. If you're interested, I've got a free Facebook group you guys can join. Um, ask your questions. Let me know if something's changed on this video on in the comments or in the group. Um, and like somebody did, I'll just try and make a new video for you showing you what to do. All right. Bye, guys. Okay, so I figured that some of you might actually ask me um, why I failed, so I figured I'd just include it. Um, I did, I, it only had me talking, so there was no like bottom um, room tone type of thing. So if you have the room tone uh, and you've gone through and done your editing as opposed to just doing a quick sample like I did, you should be fine. Uh, if you do run into issues though um, and things pass, my first thing that I do is run this through again um, and then see if it passes. Um, and if not, go through and just start problem solving. Um, it could, the noise floor 
could be uh, just ambient noise that you have in your room. It could be settings from um, like the bass on your microphone. It could be a bunch of things like that. Um, but my first go is always run it through again. Um, and it, if you run it through too much, so for instance, I just ran it through like four times because I clicked record and it didn't record. Um, so uh, don't run it through too many times, um, but run it through and eventually it will pass and then you're good. Uh, so that's something you could try. It doesn't always work. Um, usually that happens if it's the RMS, but not always. Uh, so just keep that in mind and yeah.